finally managed to get the program that I downloaded yesterday working, and let's see how long it takes to render a 10 minute video on the new computer. Just saying this right now, on my old program, it used to be able to render a 10 minute video in about four to five minutes. This ain't seeming all that much faster. But we shall wait and find out, but it's a new dawn, it's a new day. Uh, it's a very nice actual day outside today, and I'm starting it at um, 4.50. Like, no joke, 4.50 p.m. is when I'm starting my day. Hmm. Which shouldn't matter because the Apple Store in the Trafford Centre is open until 10 p.m. So I'm going to go there now. I'm going to go check it. Well, I'm going to go there now in traffic. See if they can take it in. I think it takes like two hours to get something fixed. So if I can take it in, we should be set. But if not... I cry, and maybe I'll be able to leave my phone there overnight, get it fixed, and pick it up tomorrow. So before we do anything, it's time to back up all my footage on my phone because the chances are, I've been told, they can wipe your entire phone. So it's time to say goodbye to all my videos, all my photos, and everything, unless I back it up. So thank God I have 500 up, 500 down, which totally doesn't work right now. Haha! -ha. Vlog is uploaded! It's uploaded, it's thumbnailed, it's titled, it's everything. That way, it will be live at 6 p.m. for your faces, which means... If I'm right in saying, that's gonna be either the third or fourth daily vlog in a row that I've uploaded on time. I know, who is this Tom and what have I done with the old one? Well, the old one had short, spiky hair and this is the Tom that has to hide it, but uh, don't worry about that. May have just realized an issue. If I'm gonna go to the Apple store now, they're gonna take my phone off me, so therefore I'm not gonna be able to vlog. But the chances are, even though I said I've backed up my footage that I've already recorded today, like the five clips, but I think I'm gonna lose that footage off my phone. So, sh ah. I should have charged that one of my old phones and just used that for the day and then pulled the footage off that, but I've got none of them charged up and I need to leave now. <sighs> Nothing like getting ready to jump into traffic at six o'clock. Six o'clock heading to the traffic center. I, sh I shouldn't be doing this. This is a terrible idea. She's that fast that a bird shot on her, so <laughs> that's great. And we'll just get it washed. The more and more I drive that car, the more and more I want the F-Type, but more and more, I want the TTRS. Just so fast and nimble, it's like a go kart. Oh, here we go. There's no way they're gonna be able to fix it today, I guarantee it. Oh my god, I almost felt sick. The guy said 400 pounds to fix it. I was like, Are you actually kidding me? Photo bomb. 400 quid to fix it. He was like, Yeah, it's not even a case of replacing just the bat, you need to replace the entire phone. So my heart kind of sank a little bit. And then when he typed in my serial number, at the end of typing in my serial number, he went, are you sure? If I've got Apple Care, and I was like, I think so. And he was like, do you say like LI? And I was like, no, LA. And he typed in LA and he was like, boom, you've got Apple Care. So thank God. Oh, <laughs> save myself 350 quid. I just love this place. Food from a conveyor belt that's probably been sat there for about 15 minutes and eat it. Food of champions. Spicy cauliflower. That's hot. Damn, off white got its whole full own section now. It's no longer just on a little rack over there. It's got a whole little segment. Dopeness. I think I want to track down that off white jumper with the Mona Lisa on it and get it because this is like the 19th time I've been by this section to find it and I can't find it. Instead of the Mona Lisa, they now have, um, who's this? If that's who it is, I'm not too sure, but um, okay then. Who's our snakeskin shoes? Oh my God, I don't even know what make this is, but how much are these shoes? Where the price tag? 530 pounds. Okay, I'm gonna leave you. Mate, this is like Jake Paul shoe and Logan Paul shoe. That's exactly what that is right there. They have some class to be able to wear these models. Look at these. God damn. I don't know what the name of this brand is. Even reading the label, I can't understand it, but all I know is it's worth money. My entire life has led to owning a pair of Gucci sliders with the doggy inserts. They're definitely fake. And they're something that my dad used to wear when he went to work when I was like 11. I think I found a very me shoe. Look at that. Nice, sleek. Not too crazy with the colours, it's only got a red bottom. Mate, these might as well be Lou Vuitton Nikes. Oh, return, give me my money back. So let's just pretend I'm not filming that guy. That guy right there is wearing the exact thing I want, but as a t-shirt, he's wearing the Mona Lisa off-white, give it me. I was just walking in front of that guy wearing that jumper I wanted, and I looked up, what's your name? Adam. He's wearing a bloody stealth hoodie. <laughs> you just caught me so off guard, that is unreal. Yes. Ooh, nasty. Simple man, simple needs. Bang. It's about time they did the Starbucks up. It used to look like crap. Now it look. Oh, god damn! This is a sleek looking venue. I like it a lot. Me, one ticket to go and see the Meg Odeon. You're single-handedly the reason why the planet's falling apart. Um, the Meg in review. <laughs> it was just a fun action. I don't think I'm gonna rate it. It was. Just, it was. It was fun. Kind of unpredictable, actually. 
I wonder where my car could be. Hmm. Wow. Last one standing. Okay. I, I, I just literally can't seem to be able to get to like the settings of my car to get it to show you my total. Oh, well, maybe I can. Total miles, 10,011 miles. Woo! If you would like to buy a totally respectably used Audi with not a broken dash thing at the moment um, and no low tire pressure, then contact Tom for only 10 pounds. This 10 pound for only 10,011 pounds, this car can be yours. Pound a mile. Wait, that means the more I drive, the more it is expensive for you. So, okay, I'm going to give it back when it's got 100,000 miles in it, and then we'll talk. Ooh, brand new iPhone. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I did film a clip, which was my reaction, like true, genuine reaction of me being like, oh my God, time to find out if I have Apple Care or not. Um, and the guy was, and he, and he first said no, and I was like, no. And you can see my face just distraught because to replace the back, 400 pounds because they can't just replace the bike, they have to replace the entire phone. So, 400 quid to let's give ourselves a bit more lighting here. There you go, look at that. 400 quid to replace it. However, if you have Apple Care, which I think costs like either 100 pounds for a two year coverage or 200 pounds or something like that, basically, if you get that, if you smash your screen, they replace the entire phone, like whole brand new phone, for 75 quid. So, your boy managed to smash the phone. The stabilizer was broken it as well, like from a previous time. So you know like when you'd see me vlog like this and it'd go duh, 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 jaw. Well, that's now fixed and it's just a brand new phone. So that's a win. And you might be like, why is that even more of a win? Because not only now do I not have a smashed phone, I have a fixed stabilizer. And more importantly, when you get a new phone, the screen, the glass feels so good because it's got like a texture on it. Like I, I, I don't know way to describe whatever it is, but the phone to touch and move everything feels perfect. And the more and more you use your phone, you wear down this like sort of layer on the outside of it. And that's why your phone becomes like crappy and like, you know, it doesn't feel as good. But now I've got this brand new phone to like, like next month, because apparently September 12th, they're announcing the brand new lineup of iPhones. So um, yeah, yay, for 75 quid, I just got myself a new phone until then. So um, yes. Fixed it, brand new phone, uh, super excited about it. I was like, what do you do with the old ones? And they said that they recycle them, not in the essence of like, they try and fix them and resell them. They melt it down entirely. So all the metal parts in it, all the glass, they crunch it down and put it into making brand new glass and all that sort of stuff. And I was like, that's pretty cool. So it all gets reused, renewed. Cause I was like, this seems like an inefficient way of, you know, taking one old phone off me rather than just fixing the back plate. Um, then, you know, giving me a whole brand new thing. But uh, hey, it makes sense. It's Apple, they're a trillion dollar company. They know exactly what they're doing, but we got the new iPhone. We're feeling good, we're feeling fresh. Uh, the one thing I haven't done straight away is um, put a phone case on it. That would probably be a good idea, which leads me on to ink cased. And you might be like, whoa, that's a word we haven't heard in a long time. So do you remember what ink case was? It was a company where I basically dipped phone cases into like liquid, uh, hydro dipping technique, dip it in and be like, ta-da, this looks great. It did look great. I loved it. It was it was so much fun to do. I really enjoyed it. It was a good little project and I was doing it out like my garage. Well, um, for everyone asking, what the hell happened to ink case? Well, basically, you guys know I own a gaming company out in Los Angeles. I took the idea to them but it's gone from, like, my idea changed from it just being a, hey, this is a, a, a place where we sell custom-looking coloured phone cases, which I'd still love to do in its essence, and that will be a feature of it. But I've created an entirely new concept, idea, and product, which, rather than me being like, I'm going to try and do it out my garage, yeah. Uh, no, this is going to be, like, an official product. Like, this is something that I could genuinely see being like that in the Apple Store. So, uh, yeah, really big things coming with that. I'm not, I'm not saying too much about it just because you know what obviously i want to get it going and with 3bd we've got so much back in there so many staff like we've got like 100 plus staff now i think like it's it's an, a massive a massive massive company and now that i've taken it to there we can take this idea to the next level so a lot of people asking like oh you gave up on the idea oh no oh no 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 we're taking it to the next level it went it went from stage one doing it in my sink to stage two doing it in a tub to stage three doing it in a garage to then taking it to 3bd so we've stepped up the ranks boys so i have to end today's vlog because it's currently my birthday with my mum yeah that might sound weird but my mum bought me a birthday present of going out to a spa so in tomorrow's vlog you're going to see me going out to a spa with my mother who is Right there. Literally sat just right outside my, my, my house. She's probably pissed off because I've been talking to this vlog for about 10 minutes. I'm waving at her.
I'm waving. Oh, she's shouting me to come, so I've got to go. So I have to go. So tomorrow's vlog consists of Tom at a spa being like, ah, oh, yes, cucumbers and shit. So uh, I'll see you guys then tomorrow if I can get this vlog uploaded at 6 p.m. Oh my gosh, four, nearly five days in a row of daily vlogging at 6 p.m. Your boy's a wizard. So I'm going to love you, leave you, much love to your faces. And as always, if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make, make a YouTube account, click subscribe, ding dong that notification bell, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. for the next day vlog. Much love. I'm sorry, else.